In this video, we are going to learn in depth on the second largest data breach in the history, Marriott data breach. So, to get started with the video and to get into the agenda of this particular talk, we are going to discuss about where it all began, how it all happened, how was it detected and what was the outcome. In 2014, a very big hotel chain existed. Many of you probably know it, Starhood. Starhood basically consists of brands like W Hotels, Sheraton, Aloft and Meridian. And any, any guests who are using these particular hotels uh, and Starhood basically enters all those details in Starhood Guest Reservation Database. Approximately 500 million records exist in this particular database and out of which 383 million guests information was exposed in this particular data breach. This is the second largest data breach because Yahoo's data breach was 3 billion records. So when we are talking about records, records, what are these records? These records consist of 9.1 million encrypted password, uh, I mean payment card numbers and their expiration dates and potentially several thousand of them are unencrypted and it also has 383 million accounts of guest records which includes full names, mailing addresses, phone numbers, email addresses, gender, rewards information, arrival, departure and a lot of other details. And Password, uh, passport numbers, uh, 18.5 million encrypted and 5.25 million of them are unencrypted. So the intensity of this particular breach is the unencryption part of the entire system because in order to meet the PCI compliance, compliance standards, uh, every hotel chain which is managing PCI related information or payment card information they have to encrypt the data by default. Uh, otherwise, it's very difficult to pass uh, the PCI compliance audit. Uh, so that was the intensity of the attack and how it all began is basically in July 2014, hackers penetrated Starhood systems. They used some backdoors, uh, vulnerabilities that were found in those systems and they used them and they penetrated into the Starhood system. On September 23rd, 2016, Marriott basically acquired Starhood. Uh, this is for an undisclosed amount. How much it is, we don't know. They acquired Starhood in September 23, 2016. On September 7th, 2018, Accenture, which is a contractor managing Starhood database for Marriott, becomes aware of a breach due to an alert regarding an unusual SQL query. To get in-depth, Accenture basically used a tool called IBM Guardian. IBM Guardian is a tool uh, basically it's a monitoring database monitoring solution so they found out there were unusual SQL queries that were performed uh, just days before they found out and they they did raise a suspicion and uh, Marriott was informed about these un unusual SQL queries and Marriott hired third-party investigators to determine the scope uh, the, the entire scope of the breach so what did the investigators found out was they found remote access trojans in a lot of uh, their systems. This is a type of a malware basically used to access uh, systems with uh, the different backdoors. And they also found Mimikatz. Mimikatz is a common tool that is used to extract passwords from computers, whether they are hashed or they are not hashed. It, it is used to collect and extract uh, passwords. And they also found out a lot of logs were deleted so in, in the firewall when uh, a particular hacker or a hacking group wants to cover their fingerprints what they do is they delete the firewall access logs uh, the uh, different other logs to not to be detected and sometimes they plant um, you know different types of logs to just mislead the investigators so before going into what did it cost for the entire thing and what are the different changes that has happened in Marriott. First, let us discuss what are the changes that were implemented in Marriott after this particular data breach. 
So they implemented an endpoint protection solution for over 200,000 devices. In, in 2016, it was only 70,000 devices were having the endpoint protection in Marriott. So they increased that number to 200,000 uh, devices in total. And they did IP whitelisting in order to access this particular database. So they implemented when they included all the Marriott groups, internal IP addresses, and they did IP, IP listing, whitelisting in order to avoid any suspicious uh, IPs getting access to the particular database. And they did net network segmentation. And this is basically to protect the sensitivity of the data, the data sense the sensitive data in, in the environment. To protect that, they implemented a uh, network segmentation. So it's not that a, a you know, uh, a, a device in, in the check-in uh, is basically, it can, it can access this particular database, it cannot access. Uh, so that's all it was done. And coming to what did it cost and the concept of cyber insurance, which I want to uh, include in this particular video, uh, the cyber insurance is an option where companies can opt and they will get um, whatever the initial discovery till the end of the investigation, whatever the amount it costs for them to investigate data breach is basically covered. So in this in this Marriott case, uh, we, we have a very good example of cyber insurance, which includes um, initial discovery till the end. Uh, it, it took them three months to do this and it costed them $72 million uh, to entire, for, for this entire process in which $71 million has been uh, insured. So that's only $1 million they spent for the entire data breach. But what are the fines that, um, that Marriott faced is something really interesting to understand. So Marriott faced $123 million or 99 million pounds fined by UK authorities over the data breach. So this was the total fine that they got. And one more important topic that I would like to include in this particular video is the due diligence uh, of mergers and acquisitions. This is one of the thing that Marriott without their fault uh, actually got into this trouble of data breach uh, after acquiring Starhood. Actually, it was Starhood Systems database, which was got compromised. Marriott has, has got nothing to do in this case. But there's an important concept of uh, mergers and acquisition due diligence, which basically includes all the financial reports and all, completely neglecting IT systems and their audit and their security. Now, actually, that IT uh, systems audit and security becomes a core part into the mergers and acquisition due diligence um, before acquiring or having a merger with a different company. That should be really uh, something that needs to be focused on. So that's it for this video. I hope this video is informative and thank you very much for watching it. If you want to watch more videos like this, please do subscribe to the channel. Till then, have a wonderful learning and bye-bye.